Hello, folks, oh and welcome once again to week six, another episode of Do a Die. Now, as you see, I don't have my script today because I felt like I just wanted to take this one completely off the head here and just kind of run with this. So, first off, we're going to start out with uh, some of the matchups this coming up week. Um, first off, I want to start off with the Arlington Mangoes and Sprint Nuts 4. Well, here we go. Sprint Nuts 4 is coming off back-to-back -back wins. They're putting up some impressive numbers, I must say. They're first placed in their division only by one game, followed by three other teams that are tied for second. <clears throat> but his opponent this week are the Arlington Mangoes. Well, if we've been keeping up with anything, this guy's 5-0. and He's the only undefeated team right now and damn near almost unstoppable. Um, so, it's going to be a tough match, I think, with Sprint Nuts this week. Um, the Mangoes, they're looking very impressive. You know, I honestly, my personal opinion right now, I'm looking at the Mangoes to take it all the way to the championship. I'm just going to be honest here, folks. This guy has got a very, very solid team. But, um, like I said, the Nuts, you know, may be in a little trouble this week. But, hey, we'll see how it goes. Best of luck to both of them. Second of all, I want to start off with the Purple Rain and the Packy Core Poolers. Well, let's just say the Core Poolers aren't the team that they were in the past few years. They're right now at a 1-4 and four record, coming with Aaron Rodgers, who has had a real up-and-down season this year. You know, he's not as been as uh, – he's not the MVP like we've seen last year. Let's just say that, folks. Purple Rain is also – has a three-game losing streak going on right now. Hello. So if we had to really break this one down, folks, I can't even give you an edge on this one. I'm going to have to almost call this one dead even here. I mean, both of these teams have had some struggles. And um, so, you know, hey, best of luck to both of these teams as well. Third, I think we'll do the Memphis Upper Deckers and the Cabana Pink Piglets. Now, both of these teams come off of good wins last week. Um, the Pigs almost put up close to 100 points. The Upper Deckers, you know, got a good win, which a very much needed win to actually stay kind of neck and neck in his division right now. Um, both of these guys have maybe one or two people apiece that are on buys this week, but it's not playing too much of a role. I'll be honest with you. I know I seem like I'm calling a lot of these down the middle, but I think this match is going to be pretty even as well. I mean, you know, like I said, these guys are coming off good wins last week, but, you know, their records are a little shaky, you know. Uh, so both, I think, teams are at two and three. So um, we'll definitely keep an eye on that one. Uh, next up, well, we got the Dallas Football Club and the Memphis Mean Bandinos. I mean, what do you say here, folks? You got a 1-4 Dallas Football Club that um, is just not doing so well. I'm just going to be honest. He's not looking good at all. And um, I have a really good feeling that he's going to be 1-5 after this week. Look. Here's another guy right here to match up with the Mangoes. This guy, I, I, I mean, I, if, I, if I had a crystal ball, I could see the future right now. I'm looking at the Bandinos and the Mangoes to be going one-on-one -on -one for the championship. Now, let's just say this. Here's another little fun fact for you folks is week 10 these two teams play each other and if they stay on the consistent pace that they've been on by bandinos putting up 120 points four out of five weeks the mangoes just being undefeated this is going to be one hell of a game come week 10 folks so like i was saying this next matchup we got here is the karachi cougars against the miami chameleons now week i believe it was week two was our um, it was week three actually week three these two teams went against each other both in the same division with the same record right now as far as the standings um I mean, this was a hell of a game, folks. The Cougars took this 104 to 101. Um, 
you know, Craig, I mean, this guy stayed, the, the chameleon stayed right in there. You know, I almost thought that they could pull this one off. But I have to say, you know, I, I think the chameleon's team is looking a little stronger here in week uh, week six. So, um, you know, I, I may give the slight edge to the chameleons on this one. I think that um, Craig is definitely going to be coming for a little revenge. And uh, this should even the series up between these two. So all I can say is this will be a good match to watch, and best of luck to both of them. And last but not least, we got a battle of uh, <laughs> two and three teams. The team's under 500 right now. Look, Memphis Grind was, man, you know, first year coming in. The guy took it straight to the playoffs, no hesitation. Had a great-looking team. Robert Griffin, you know, coming off of a concussion. He's got two of his running backs on by this week. So he's having to fill a lot of voids right now, you know. But he is playing Terry the Legend. So this guy hasn't seen over 75 points but once. You know, let's just say he hasn't even really seen over 70 points except one time. But, um... This is about an equal match to me right here. You know, um, I've got my team looking pretty solid for the most part, which I think, I will say this, Chris Johnson is on the bench, and that's probably where he needs to be. And if one more screw-up game by him next week, then, you know, hey, we're looking at that guy probably going to waivers. So let's just be honest. Of a new segment that we're going to call Trash Talking. <laughs> All right. Now, like I said, I've been kind of scoping the Facebook this week uh, with some of my own personal problems. Actually, uh, we got one of our guitar players been trash talking us on Facebook. So Facebook's been real busy this week with nothing but trash talk. And I'm telling you, it's not even stopping here at Bluff City. First off, I was just kind of looking over a few things. Um, Adrian Jackson has a message to all the Bluff City Blades. I guess miracles do happen. Suck it, he says. I get back to 500, and I hate you have the Beantown butt nuggets. Will be nothing compared to what you feel for me. Wow. I mean, look, Adrian's, what, 800 and something miles away in Houston right now? Look, we miss you, A-Train, -A but, I mean... Come on, man. You're trash talking that far away. I mean, but that's why you got to love social networking, huh? It's great. So, you know, this whole conversation continues to go on. Bluff City Blades responded by, hey, I still love you. I just love talking shit. Here's truly Lord Nuts. Well, then do you think that was just going to be left alone? Not at all. Birch had to step in. Calm down, Geno Smith. This ain't your year. Go stir the pot somewhere else. Can you feel the tensions right now? I'm starting to. After this weekend, I have won three of my last four, and I'm heading into the weakest part of my schedule, Birchie. I'm not just stirring the pot. I'm going to take a dump in it and eat up some blades. This comes from Adrian Jackson. Look, I'm telling you, this is getting serious here, folks. But you know what? This is what we play for. This is what we enjoy. We enjoy the trash talking. It kind of hypes it up from week to week. So, um, you know, I'm really enjoying that. Birch throws out a little message to the Bluff City Blades as well. The Mangoes are benefiting from a name change. Those guys are cruising three-game lead after five games. Basically, Birch is saying, this division is screwed. Hey, look, I'm not going to disagree with him almost at this point. I mean, if you're up 5-0 and oh, and your next second place is, what, 2-3? and three? Hell, you can bet that the other three teams in that division is probably not going to see any playoff action unless miracles happen. Hey, there's still a long season to go. But the way I see it and predicted in my do-or-die segment was – I strongly feel the Mangoes and the Bandinos will be in the championship this year battling it out. Like I said, I'm looking forward to their Week 10 matchup as well. I mean, these guys are just almost unstoppable. So, I guess with that being said, like I said, keep the trash talking coming, folks. We're enjoying it. We're loving it. It makes the matches a little more intense from week to week. So, Adrian, hey, buddy, good win. 
But uh, like I said, you're in my division, buddy. So I, you know, I hope you get took down through there this week. I'm just saying. But uh, you know, cause hey, it's time for the look. The leg was a champion in 09, okay? Yeah, I'm going back, reliving on a little past here for a minute. But you know what? I had one of the suckiest years ever last year, and this year ain't looking too hot either. So I guess maybe this is the part where I'm doing a little trash talking. So to all of my division people this week, I hope you get your asses beat. And, uh, you know, and I hope I pull off a victory and I will be feeling real good about taking that or at least tying for that first place spot. So watch out, folks. The leg is coming. I'm telling you. The leg was just broke last year. It was just broke, plain and simple. But I'm making my comeback this year. So like I said, folks, keep the trash talking coming. And best of luck to all you blades. Well, holla, holla. See ya.